Good evening. Welcome to Options Tender. It is Sunday. Uh, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, you guys. Merry Christmas. Want to put this out there. This shouldn't be a very long video. I wanted to show you uh, a little bit lower time frame. In the last couple videos, we showed two possibilities, two situations where we have a top in already, and then another where we uh, pull back and and we don't know how deep, but then we get a all time high afterwards, and that will mark the top, and then we start heading lower from there. We're in that time frame to where we're looking for a top, and that's explained in the earlier videos. So, uh, you know, I do recommend that you watch some of those, and uh, especially ones that are all about the market timing and the rates, inverted rates, and things like that. Um, I do believe they're so important, and I do think a recession's coming. Um, yeah, so if you're new here, go down to that bottom right corner, hand corner, and hit that options ten logo and subscribe. Now we're gonna go through spy. I'm gonna show you this count. I'm gonna dust it off. It's it's actually kind of messy. I have to update it. You see these these targets. Uh, it, this makes a really good point. These targets. Um, are, need to be adjusted. So I have, uh, before I move on, please do hit the like button. Uh, you guys have been rock stars and you've been hitting those like buttons and, uh, this mark, this, uh, um, channel has been really taken off. So I really appreciate it. <clears throat> so I'm going to up this, date this and I didn't touch, I did it on purpose. Uh, so you can see me and the things that I do. I have to look back at uh, different projections that I do, revisit them, and then I'll go down to the 65 minute on SPY as well. So on SPY in the daily time frame, we call this one the ending diagonal. And uh, we talked about this probably uh, at the beginning of December, it looks like. If you look at the bottom there, that's about, yeah, right at about the beginning of December where we had that pause there for quite some time, right here near the uh, some recent tops, the July top. And we said that uh, if we do reach all-time highs, this is a possibility of how we get there. And so we have a wave four here making this a corrective move. That would be wave three up top, not labeled. And then we have the... Three wave move up for one. If you're not familiar with the ending diagonal, you can look that up. But we're looking for all three wave moves to the upside for all time highs. So we have a three wave move up for a one, ABC three wave move for two, ABC three wave move for a three, nice extended three. And um, at this point, you don't have to get an extension in five, it's possible. And but we don't have to, and ABC down for a four, and I'll just take this out of here because we didn't get any type of retracement. But uh, here's where I can start to focus on what's happening. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go down to the 65 in just a few minutes, and uh, we'll kind of update our hourly Elliott wave. Um platform there but so as of right now we can because we thought we had a top here we really thought we had a top here and really this suggests that we did we just didn't get a pullback in in price we got it pull back in time so this a remains right over that top right where i had it it's just time took place so now we have to move B up here. So we said, hey, we, we have a five-wave move up here. We should see either some sort of top or a pullback for B. And now we need a C to continue up. And that's what this line was. We just didn't have a pullback. And so now I'm going to recount this on the lower time frame. But you see we have our A, B, and a five-wave move working right now for C. And so that's the ending diagonal that I had uh, quite some time ago, uh, about a month ago. And now we have to dust it off, revisit it, and then we'll 
we'll uh, put this on our lower time frame projections. So now we can go down to the 65. And first, I'll just show you the traditional technical analysis after we broke out from this wedge, or you could draw it as a flag as well. Uh, perhaps we just don't get this pullback at all. And so uh, we want to protect ourselves to the upside. We had this trend line up here that formed as we made new highs and we're back testing that trend line right now. So in this 65 minute, the video I made two days ago is not invalidated. I'm not changing my mind about anything. But I want to give you a lower time frame possibilities of what what is happening, what might happen. There's three. I think we can kind of square it down to three things that could happen and uh, uh, in this lighter trade type scenario with the short weeks that we have uh, two weeks ahead of us. Next week and the week after, we, we have four day four week um, four day trading weeks. So, with traditional technical analysis, we we broke this trend, and I think um, we could possibly, and don't look at the options expected move, that was for last week. I didn't do my weekly update yet um, with the holidays, and, and I'll be traveling a little bit, but so I'll, I'll start to update those. Maybe I'll do a, a video tomorrow uh, at the latest on um, Tuesday, I'll do a top-down analysis again so we can get that. But this is this is very important for literally going into Tuesday. All right? So we broke down from this trend line, which it doesn't mean we can't still go up, but this might suggest, because we have a we had this nice impulsive move, so that it, if you consider that five-wave impulsive move, then here's one of the possibilities. Here's a little bit more bearish. We have a three wave correction did not make a new top a, a new high and now we could pull back okay so you can get a five three five for either a zigzag or maybe a flat since it was so deep of a retracement where you just close the gap here after you close the gap start moving higher now why is this in the in the cards because our all-time high is at 479.98 that's just a stone's throw away so maybe the market just needs to tag all-time highs like the dow and the Qs did and that would complete a move and that would give us our wave five and then we start our real uh recessional type move at that point okay so that's one scenario, just a flat pattern where we correct a little bit more to the downside going into maybe turn around Tuesday, and then we start floating higher into holiday trade. All right. Doesn't mean we stop right here at 480, but uh, with the holiday trade, uh, if we get a corrective move, we're, we're going to be in a range. We're already in a range. So you could see the bottom of the range again, and then we start our five wave move to complete this uh, this last wave up there. And that would uh, reset our indicators. And then we can move higher. Okay, so that's one is where we correct down, reset indicators, head higher. The other is maybe we just start grinding to the upside. And we had our correction. And this will be much more clear when I show you the Elliott wave on how what kind of structure that uh, we're, we're pointing out. But a three-wave move could be our ending diagonal to kind of uh, grind to the upside to get this all-time highs. And maybe we already have our low, our micro-term low. So you had a three-wave move up. You're looking for a three-wave down. And you could start extending a little bit longer for a three-wave up, down, up. Okay, that would be a much lower time frame ending diagonal. So that just could, could kind of keep grinding to the upside. And that's another possibility. And the, the last one is just, it is what it is. It, it, this is the top. We correct in, like we said in the other videos, possibly down to the 460, 455 area. This zone right here, previous highs, the July highs, and move up or much, much lower, 
and then move up. So those are all bullish scenarios. And then, you know, you know, I've uh, always had that bearish scenario in play to where this is just a top and we move much slower. All right. We can throw on a couple indicators. We have our reversal indicator. So on our last um, situation here, we had on Friday, on uh, well, let's say earlier last week, we had our divergences play out. And you saw the RSI. First of all, the MACD came down to the zero line. So that's a good bounce area. RSI was already oversold after that rip to the downside. And same with the Williams percent. So we said, oh my gosh, we can't really be in the in the short term extremely bearish because of those moves are already oversold. So we started to get our bounce. And with that bounce already, this is why I kind of favor that we correct a little bit more into Tuesday, coming up Tuesday, is we're already up top in here in the Williams percent R again. Okay. So that just shows kind of like range play and that possibly could go down and get oversold again with the next move down. And then we can kind of start moving to the upside and, and uh, create more divergences here. Okay. Same thing pretty much shows with this one. We already had uh, oversold stochastic and we're starting to move down. So that could, that could cycle all the way down and give us a, Maybe even a positive divergence if we make just a slight new low under here, close the gap, make a higher low on RSI, create a positive divergence on the 65 minute chart, and then we start heading higher for our last leg. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of leaning to this scenario where the market just seems to want to get this all time high. I'm bearish, but I have call protection on. And you better believe if this situation happens to where we close this gap and we have uh, a new micro low and then we start getting divergence. I'm going to play this to the upside for this last squeak to the upside. All right, so let's, let's give a, a great visual of what's going on. So now that we showed on the... Elliott Wave, we're going to fix this in real time here and what we think is going to happen. So uh, we have our possible um, five wave move up. So one, two, three, four. You can count this a couple different ways if you have a one, two, three, four, five, or have the five in here. Either way, if you can count one, two, three, four, five. There's many ways you can do this on, on, on the lower level. But if we put our A in here as the perhaps the top right here. And then um, or even here, I think I was looking at here, and it because you had this long time correction, which is very common for a B wave to just waste time. So you had all this, maybe maybe an expanded flat work corrected in time. So that would be the B ended right here. And now we're looking at a one flat pattern into two and one, two, three, four, five to ending wave three. And all this is just move that higher. Get rid of this. Uh, that's from the lows there. Actually, I can use this right now. So we want to go a retracement from the end of wave two. So you have one and then the bottom of wave two. We'll put the, the retracement at the bottom right here. And then we'll, we'll make sure this is equal to the top there. And so uh, from the bottom of two to the top of three, I don't know if this helps if I mark these, but we have a one, two. And then we get a wave three in here. 
And now, if we notice, let me highlight what's going on here. All right, so now we should just have the 0.236 and a 0.382 retracement, which is very common for a wave four pullback. So you see this zone here? From the bottom of two, top of wave three, we've made just off of this 382, or maybe I, I drew it a little off, so maybe we reached it, maybe we didn't. But um, I think we might have missed it just a little bit. Three-way move up, and you see we could correct right back to that 382, would just be common for this wave four to play out. So I think wave four still might have some time. It could be a triangle too. Wave fours are tricky. But if uh, we want to waste time and being in the holiday trade, uh, maybe we just want to um, scare some bulls out for a second, get a drop here to wave four, and it shouldn't exceed 382 very much, probably spike through. And now we're, we'll be looking for this last leg up here. Should be a five wave move into a wave five. It can be an ending diagonal or it can be just a regular impulse. So our projections from this is that our wave four isn't quite over. And we'll be looking for a last five wave move up. I won't do all the squiggles for that. That's going to be five waves, even if they're all three waves overlapping of the five. Okay, so we're just looking for la one more last leg. Exceed that 480 all-time high. And then after that, that should be, just to put it in perspective, that would be it. And so this would be the end of C where you have that A, B, C, and this would now be the end of that much larger degree, wave five. And now we start our real descent to the downside over quite a bit of time. All right, that would mark another top. So that's what I want to show you is if this, this thing's just grinding, it just wants the all-time highs. And, uh, you know, that, that ending diagonal that we have, we're not looking for a five-wave move up here. We're looking for an A, B, C. So it's a, a zigzag, a five, three sideways, and the B, five. I hope that's clear. If you're, if you're new here and you're new to all this stuff, just... You know, just watch this channel, take the terms, look them up over time. You'll, you'll start to catch on and, and this will really, really come together when you're starting to trade. It'll make sense. You'll, you'll understand the nature of wave of, of B waves and fo waves fours. They're the hardest ones to get through so you can get chopped up in those. But, uh, know that this is this is a very very valid situation where this could take this process could take place in next week or going into for example if we get that correction for Tuesday going into Wednesday and then we start our bullish descent that could lead all the way into next week or you know two weeks really but just watch it it might be grindy it might take a while each day each day each day and then uh after the new year and somewhat after we get all-time highs we'll be pressing we'll be pressing to the downside again all right that's what i got for you i don't think there's anything else to show thank you for joining us here at option center uh, this video below 20 minutes. Wow. Haven't done that in a little bit. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.